Hello, I'm Michael and I'm here to present to our Board of Directors an exceptional opportunity for Memorial that will be provided through a robust organizational wellness plan. So what's so exciting about organizational wellness? You may be thinking, this is nothing new. We've had an organizational wellness plan in place for decades. Well, I'm excited to tell you that an opportunity exists that will completely change your perception of organizational wellness. After thorough research over the past year with a full feasibility study and business plan performed, I found an opportunity to drive over $1.5 million in savings over the first five years. We will redefine what wellness means to our organization. Wellness is no longer a company expense for the benefit of employees. Wellness, when properly designed and delivered, is a symbiotic relationship that exists between employer and employees that will deliver exceptional value to all. I realize that a cost savings business plan isn't as sexy as developing a project to introduce millions in revenue, but every good businessman knows that reductions to existing expenses go directly to the company bottom line. The estimated $1.5 million mentioned will in fact directly impact Memorial's net profit. So what's the problem? The problem is that rising healthcare expenses are compromising the profitability for all companies that provide healthcare benefits for employees and dependents. For Memorial, we have seen these costs rise to the point that the provision of healthcare benefits are a risk for the financial sustainability of our organization. The total cost to our self-insured plan last year was $21.2 million. This is a tremendous financial burden for an organization of our size. This problem is shared with our customers, the employees of Memorial. As cost of health care continue to rise, benefit expenses must be passed along to the consumer. This direct impact to consumers and Memorial is profound. The solution. Much like the design of health care reform, organizations are looking for ways to control health care expenses. Health care reform strategies are aligned with the notion that preventative care will minimize the high downstream health utilization costs. Our solution lies with the same philosophy. Better preventative care strategies will reduce overall expenses for our self-insured health plan. Wellness programs can be specifically designed to provide these cost reduction strategies. Within these wellness programs are specific targeted drivers that will impact population segments that contribute large portions of healthcare spend for our organization. These strategies, when effectively designed and implemented, will provide a healthier, happier, more productive workforce while controlling healthcare expenses for Memorial. As a self-insured community hospital, we have a unique opportunity to control costs through a well-bust wellness plan. We possess the intellectual capabilities and infrastructure to deliver these cost reduction strategies. Our wellness program, in combination with proper health design, can cut our expenses in the long term while creating a culture of wellness that directly and indirectly provides positive results for memorial services and our finances. So how do we accomplish this? My business plan proposes three specific wellness services that will drive expense reduction. The first is an on-site wellness clinic. This clinic will service employees and dependents for urgent care needs. The quality and convenience of this on-site clinic will entice employees to utilize this service instead of expensive alternatives such as urgent care and emergency room visits. The second service is chronic drug therapy management. Proper medication management for patients will drive cost savings through preventative care for target segments such as those with diabetes and hypertension. Lastly, we will provide education and incentive to patient providers to increase the percentage of generic medication prescriptions. Significant savings will be realized for our health plan with the proper utilization of generic medications in place of brand medications with similar outcomes. A deeper look into our health plan expenses shows the opportunities that exist. Memorial's annual spend for ER utilization is $1.2 million compared to a benchmark average of just over $400,000. As you can see, our ER visit volumes are also way out of line with the benchmark average. Our on-site clinic will reduce ER utilization and other costly alternatives of care due to the quality and convenience of this service. Our CDTM services will target our diabetic population segment. Our diabetes expense for our health plan is 30% above benchmark average, indicating another significant opportunity. Proper medication management delivered through CDTM services will reduce annual health care expenses for this population segment by an estimated $1,200 per patient per year. Lastly, our ability to increase generic utilization through effective education to influence prescribing patterns will also reduce expenses to our health plan by over $250,000 over the first three years. These opportunities are profound and my business plan is considered to be conservative relative to these opportunities. 
So what is our strategic advantage? What motivates the consumer, the employee, to access these services that will drive expense reduction? There are three key success factors, quality, convenience, and cost. Our ability to deliver services direct to the consumer at their place of employment will drive convenience that will crush the competition. We will virtually eliminate travel and wait times, a significant differentiating factor for healthcare delivery. Our quality is delivered through our core competence as a healthcare provider. We will utilize best practices to assure we are delivering exceptional patient care to deliver quality outcomes. Finally, our cost to the consumer is exceptional. Everyone likes free and that's exactly what we deliver for our wellness services. The cost savings realized through effective delivery of care will allow us to offer our services at no cost to the consumer. These strategic advantages clearly drive undeniable value to the customer. A key success factor for my business plan is consumer access for wellness services. Consumer access, much like the sales of any product, is vital for success. Effective marketing and communication strategies must be delivered. Our vision is to create culture change within our organization. A culture of wellness describes the value that all participants perceive for wellness offerings. Once this culture is established, the desired results for access and ownership of health improvement will be evident throughout the organization. With our desired culture, the need to quote unquote sell wellness concepts will no longer be necessary. It is a positive feedback loop where success breeds success. The vision must be shared with customers and marketing strategies are key to accomplishing this. Marketing will be done by our internal communications department and will be delivered in a variety of formats to maximize exposure. We will utilize the hospital intranet site which will, sell, which will contain a link for our wellness services. We will also have educational videos that are updated monthly. Brochures will be created and available to all departments and distributed to all staff. Wellness staff will attend department staff meetings and educate and promote wellness services direct to the consumer. Health plan benefit documents will have a specific segment describing wellness benefits. We will provide marketing to the total market of nearly 4,000 employees and dependents. We will have focused marketing efforts on those with high utilization for emergency room and urgent care visits, those with diabetes and heart disease, and those with high brand medication utilization rates. As mentioned, the partnership created through marketing that leads to the culture of wellness is vital for our success. Direct competitors for our services are limited. A significant portion of the value to Memorial for Wellness Services is the decrease in utilization of ER and urgent care visits. In our model, we can deliver this service at a significantly reduced cost with exceptional convenience in comparison to these competitors. We must deliver clear value and easy access to the customer to dissuade them from utilizing these expensive alternatives. Our CDTM services are not currently offered anywhere else in our community. For our generic utilization program, pharmaceutical representatives could be viewed as competitors. We will limit or eliminate their access to memorial clinics and services to assure biased marketing is removed from provider prescribing decision processes. It should be noted that some forms of quote unquote competition are actually allies in our quest for reduced healthcare expenses. Our key partners are anyone who may contribute to the overall health of the consumer. These key partners are primary care providers as well as specialists. We are supplementing the care of these providers, not replacing them. We will work closely with Signal Health, our local accountable care organization, for wellness strategies. Signal Health will provide the structure and link to these valued partnerships and provide education and incentives to maximize the value and outcomes provided through preventative care services in our community. Our internal wellness team will be led by a half-time wellness manager. Our clinic will consist of a mid-level provider, a medical assistant, and a receptionist. Our CDTM services will be delivered by a pharmacist, and our generic utilization plan will consist of prescriber education that will also be provided by a pharmacist. Our administration team will consist of a wellness manager, our VP of Memorial Physicians, our CEO, and the board of directors. External resources will consist of our internal HR department, our health plan administrator, a wellness consultant, and an advisory board comprised from members of our local accountable care organization. Our capable leadership team and staff will deliver exceptional quality and service based on the core competencies established within our organization. As stated, my business plan projects over 1.5 million in savings over the first five years. 
The estimated income statements show a net loss in the first year of over $220,000, then profitable savings each year thereafter for a five-year total net savings of almost $1.6 million. Cash flows from operations are negative $269,000 in year one, with startup costs estimated about $45,000. Services become self-sufficient after the first year, with cash accumulating from that point. These projections do not account for other significant benefits that Memorial will receive for wellness services. Other less tangible benefits include a happier, healthier employee base, enhanced productivity, reduced absenteeism, and our improved ability to recruit and retain a quality workforce. Relatively minimal investments are needed for funding this program. Memorial will need to supplement cash flows for the first two years with total investments of approximately $450,000. Break even for these investments occurs within two years with sustained profits obtained thereafter. Short term goals for this business plan are 30% participation in one of the primary services offered within the first three years, survey response rate of 90% for highly recommend for wellness services a 20% reduction in ER utilization, and a 50% enrollment of target segment for diabetes CDTM services. Key milestones are the point in which we realize 50% participation in one of the primary services offered within the first five years, 12% generic utilization increase for the first five years, and a total reduction in cost per covered life of 5% from baseline comparison to benchmark average. Delivering on these goals will assure that we realize the savings proposed in the business plan. Memorial is well positioned to implement this business plan in a short time frame. I estimate that we can have these services operational within three months of board approval. Every month delayed is opportunity lost. This business plan is derived from strong evidence-based research and thorough evaluation. It is at this point I should state some obvious sales pitch like I implore you to move forward with this plan or that this is an opportunity that can't be passed up. In actuality, I feel that the information in this presentation provides the basis for further exploration on your behalf. I'm confident that you'll find further evidence in my business plan and feasibility study to support this exceptional opportunity for Memorial. I thank you in advance for your consideration for approval of this business plan and I look forward to the opportunity to provide additional information if needed. Thank you.